Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Allison Alana. If you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I do love and appreciate you for it. Guys, I am happy Memorial Day, first of all, and I am out just leaving a gas station. Um, I don't know what I'll be doing today. It's already 5.35 and we're just really leaving the house. Um, I had a lot to do today. I had to clean up and get, you know, the kids their baths, take care of myself, um, get some things cleaned up uh, behind my dog and just a whole bunch of stuff. So I didn't come out early today. I had took some meat out. Um, let me turn this down. Well, no, I'm gonna leave it up because it's hot. Um, I had took some meat out to make uh, burgers and chicken wings on the grill today because in my community, we do have like a grill area. All right, so I just left Dollar Tree. Um, funny thing is the Dollar Tree is in the plaza next to the TJ Maxx and I forgot to go to TJ Maxx. <laughs> so um, I didn't get much out of there, just some little like odds and ends or whatever. I needed a battery for my scale because um, my scale's dead now. So I just want to get a battery for that and just some like little small nick and knack things or whatever. So I'm gonna go over here to the Chick-fil-A and see if they're even open today. I know they usually close. Sunday, I don't know if, they, if they're if they counting today as a Sunday, I don't know, but I'm gonna go over there and get her something to eat. Try to run back over to TJ Maxx, and then we're gonna go buy the water and just eat for a while. All right, so I'm in the Chick-fil-A drive-through now. They have a sign outside that says the playground is now open. So I was um, almost tempted to just go ahead and eat inside and let the kids play in the playground. But um, the baby is sleeping and I just really feel like being outdoors. Like I wanna be um, near the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep uh, my original plan of going down by the water or whatever. Hey, no, you getting trip strips or a sandwich? Strips. All right. Okay. Hi, Allison. Um, it'll be cash. Can I have a number one large with a lemonade? Um, a chicken shrimp meal, three counts, three, with a Powerade, mm -hmm. and then two Nugget Kids meals, uh, one with a lemonade, and one with a apple juice and a fruit cup. Okay. Anything else? That'll be all. Okay. Any sauces? Um, yes. Ketchup, Chick-fil-A sauce, um, buffalo, okay. and that'll be all. Uh, you take the cash here? Oh, cash will be right around the corner. Okay, all right, thank you. Ah! All right, so I'm finally headed into TJ Maxx now to check to see if they have the cell phone holder. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and glance over in the purse area because I'm always, always over here. <laughs> it's a habit, I can't help it. I'm not gonna buy anything though, I'm just looking around. Just looking, just looking. All right, I'm finally out of TJ Maxx. Um, I did get a car mount holder. It took me forever to find one, but I did, I did locate one. And hopefully I don't regret it. That it's a good one. I made sure I could turn my phone uh, in the direction, what is that? The landscape um, direction. Yes, yes. Okay. Aiden eating my fries. So, yeah. Don't say that, Aiden. 
So hopefully it works. I'm probably gonna need to wipe the windshield off a little bit to make sure it has um, good adhesion. But I got one, so we'll see how it works. I'm about to go down to the water and <laughs> eat my food and just enjoy the weather. worrying about other people son <laughs> give me my cup please people come in different shapes and sizes okay so everybody can't be a size two or a size eight um <laughs> so yeah when you see somebody you just you know i wasn't gonna say anything but i'm gonna just go ahead and say it just because Chick-fil-A service is really starting to become pure crap. Like, I don't know about anybody else's experience, but the last couple of times that I have been, they are not giving that high-end luxury fast food service that you used to get from them. I'm not feeling it. Their food is good and all, but I'm just not feeling the service that you get here anymore. It's it's very, it's very ridiculous. And I think I had said something about this. Thank you, Aiden. Um, about this before like my Facebook page and a couple of other people chimed in and was like yeah I mean I was in curbside for like 30 minutes nobody was with my food like it's it's just becoming ridiculous you know so it is what it is I, I don't know I don't know how I feel about them anymore so we're here and it feels amazing out here well it's a little bit chilly because you know when you're down by the water um it's cold because the wind hits the water and it just becomes like cold <laughs> so um finish oh yeah okay <laughs> so um i'm just feeding the baby his nuggets or whatever and then i'll be able to eat my food let me give y'all a little bit of the view the view oh, over here. So we got lots of people out today with their boat. Um, many have already went by. Should we zoom in?
I'm scared. I'm scared, Papa. Pick him up. Ace, don't throw sand all over my head. Oh no, Papa. Ace, don't throw sand, okay? Y'all ain't never seen this before, right? Y'all ain't never seen this before. <laughs> I'm gonna do it too. My top is from Zara. <laughs> this body suit is from Zara. <laughs> Why am I fussing? Why are you fussing? Huh? Wanna take a walk while they play? Let's take a walk. So guys, I'm just walking the baby around because he's getting a little bit fussy. Um, and I think I'm actually about to leave in a couple of minutes. We've been out here for probably like 30 minutes or whatever. Maybe even more than that because I took my time and um, ate or whatever and had to feed the baby who eats really, really slow. So probably closer to an hour than 30 minutes. But um, there's people out here like fishing and just relaxing, walking their dogs and stuff like that. Okay, so let me see you put your feet in the water. Okay. Oh, big boy. You gonna go some more? Mm -hmm. okay. oh, come. Oh, big boy. Um, Are you scared of the baby shark? I don't think there's any baby sharks in this water. <laughs> no, they don't have baby sharks in this water. Have y'all ever seen one of these before? Like, it's like this little notebook that they keep underneath the bench and anybody who sits here will just write like a little journal entry um, about whatever. Like, I've never seen them until I live in this particular city. And I did one, they usually are at benches like around by the water or whatever. I did one before a few years back, like probably like 2017 at another area that, um, Water. Oh god, this one is making my hair look so terrible. I don't have my cup. Oh boy, hold on. <laughs> but um yeah, so I did a journal entry in one before back in like 2017. It was at another area close to this area, um, at a bench just like this. And I just noticed that we've been here all this time and I just noticed that um they had one down here i should write an entry real quick i don't even know what i would say but oh i know exactly what i would say so i'm gonna I'm write one right quick all right so i'm going to write an entry and it's gonna say allison here Hanging with my three boys on Memorial Day. Such a nice Peaceful. Wait a minute. <laughs> Misspelled that. Peaceful day. One, 
to oh god this pencil is going up one to remember and there we go all right so we are getting ready to go Aiden was starting to get a little besides himself. So yeah, it's time to head home. I gotta get him home, shampoo his hair. Um, I don't know what he wants, cornrows or twists. I forgot what he asked for, but he's definitely gonna get that done. And now, and uh, yeah, overall, I think we had a pretty good Memorial Day. Like I'm happy with it. It was very chill, very peaceful. I love being outdoors in the, in the spring to summertime by the water. A lot of water is my favorite so it was a good day i'm very happy with the day and how it went and i'm not disappointed about not getting on the grill today so i need a little gloss on i can't find the one that i actually want to use but Mom! Mom! yes yes there's a bug in my, in my book there's a bug in your book yeah oh wow because you're loving me <sighs> Where, where's the bug, Ace? Right here. Let me see. My book. Wait, I don't see any bugs on your book. Me too. I see something. Oh, some little. Probably from being outside in the sand. Oh. Why do you have gum in your book? Like, you just got this book. When we went to the dollar store. Why do you have gum in it? Where'd you get bubble? Oh, that blue bubble gum? Yeah. Okay. So Ace got me to get him this Coco Melon Giant coloring and activity book. So we're gonna play some tic tac toe tonight. <laughs> Ain't that cute? Dollar Tree kind of stepping it up. They got the Coco Melon going on now, you know. guys we are back home and as you can see I'm shampooing Aiden's hair his hair was really really tangled um, but it is a very very good texture and quality of hair um, or soft quality of hair soft texture of hair so um, it, it doesn't take much to detangle at all literally just let the water run in it will typically just do most of the detangling for me um, there may be one or two kinks here and there, but typically just letting the water um, run through it and it moisturizes the best way like that. So if you forgot, and this is what he was looking like before. <laughs> so I use the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse in their hair. Um, and his hair and my three-year-old's hair. It makes usually, um, usually makes their hair really, really soft. I feel like I can't talk with that darn toy plan. Um, but yeah, so this is what I use in both the boys' hair. And I use the leave-in conditioner in the baby's hair. But not the regular stuff. So what I'll do is I'll condition three, <laughs> I'll shampoo three times, condition once, and then put the leave-in conditioner in last. So we do five steps before we blow dry. And in case you guys didn't know, I am a licensed cosmetologist. I do not practice anymore, but my license is up to date. I do continue to uh, renew it. And um, who knows, maybe I will put it back to use in a couple of months who even knows you know sometimes I go through these spurts where I do want to do hair again but I think about how hard it's going to be to rebuild my clientele and um, how clients are sometimes really inconsistent like with my last time that I was in a salon I was in a salon for uh, maybe like um, yeah. a year and um, I had like 10 clients 
and they would come like once a month, once every other month. And I just can't realistically build a business off of that type of schedule. So, um, I had to just kind of, you know, do something else because I've, I pretty much always had kids. I've been a mom since I was 16 and I'm 36 now. So, I mean, I, I pretty much always had kids my whole life. And so I couldn't just be at the salon chilling. Like it was essential for me to have made money, you know? So, um, whenever I wasn't making money, I would just leave the salon or go find something else to do or pick up another little gig or something. But I, I didn't really have the space or the time to build anything. Cause I always had children who were always like relying on me and um, bills that were always relying on me. So I never really had the time to like really build to the capacity that I wanted to. But um, yeah, that's just a little backstory on one of my talents and my previous profession. All right, so we just conditioned with the Moroccan pear conditioning custard and the shampoo. Oh, uh, out and smooth. Uh, little smudge there. So now we just rinse this out. Now I'm just going to rinse this out and um, use the Perla moisture milk. And that'll be it. It'll be time to butter. Okay. Finishing up Ada's hair and then showing you guys how it turned out. He's just getting some two strand toys, which is what he asked for. However, the baby is crying and carrying on so badly. I can't even get anything done. Um, he was asleep and he got back up to cry. So I'm, I, I can't focus. I can't really do much of anything while he's just crying and crying and crying like that. So I had to just get him up and I'm going to try to finish Ada's hair in the morning. So hopefully that works out. Um, so that concludes the vlog for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you enjoy the footage that we did get today. And I also, uh, want to ask that you guys go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-ta for now. Bye. So I did get to complete Aiden's hair. As you can see, he did get his two strand twist and he looks amazing. He looks so handsome and neat and groomed. I know he wanted to wear his hair like Corey Kenshin and an afro every single day of his life, but I much so prefer the new style that he's choosing to go with. As you can see, he's really feeling himself as well. <laughs> he claims he's going to get all the girls, so yeah. And these are just all the products that I use in his hair. I will link them below if I can find them to link. So that you guys can try them for your hair if you wear natural styles or in your children's hair. Hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.